let's have a look at the last special case of marginal rate of substitution namely when we have when we have an undefined MRS so recall what is MRS MRS is the slope of the indifference curve so we need to have a look at the slope of the indifference curve on this graph now this is our indifference curve these two perpendicular lines let's say we would like to know the slope at this specific point what would be the slope? The slope is the change in y relative to the change in x. And in this case, we would have the change in the consumption of apples relative to the change in consumption of bananas. Now, let's say we, we would like to trade off a certain amount of apples. So we would have a certain change in apples. Let's say we go from here to here. We, we give up some apples. But then we would like to have a banana in return, right? We'd like to have a change in the x-axis, the change in bananas. But we don't have it since this is a line since this is a line we're not moving on the x-axis on this line we can only move vertically so we would have a change in our apple consumption divided by zero we have no change in the amount of bananas and that would give us in absolute value that would give us infinity since we are dividing a number by zero the value that it's approaching is going to be infinity so that's an undefined slope it's not an actual trade-off it's not an actual rate of change we we're not willing to exchange a certain amount of apples for bananas so an undefined slope over there now let's have a have a, have a look on this part of the graph so what would happen here what if we want to go from this level of let's say four bananas to five bananas how many apples are we willing to give up well we can see that the slope again should be the change in the number of apples relative to the change in the number of bananas and we are not changing any any number of apples here because we are moving along the bananas axis along the x axis we have no changes in the y axis no changes in the apples so we have zero divided by the change in bananas which would be zero again there is no willingness to change so it's not undefined here it's actually zero there is no willingness to exchange apples for bananas and in this case what we have just described is a case of perfect complements. In microeconomics, we call them perfect complements. And the reason we call them perfect complements is because we need them in a specific amount. Let, let me prove this point. Over here at the blue point, we have three bananas and three apples. And that gives us a utility equals to 10. Now, what if we go from three bananas to four bananas? Well, we have more bananas, right? Four bananas and still three apples so we should be better off because we have more bananas but we're not we still have the same level of utility because we're still on the same indifference curve now let's have a look at an example uh, let's have a look at the example on this axis on the vertical axis so over here when we go from three bananas and we move up on the apples so we go to four apples again our utility still corresponds to the same level because it's on the same indifference curve. Our utility is still 10 units, even though we consume more apples. We could go to five apples too. Our utility is still gonna be 10 units. So the idea of perfect complements is that we do not want more of one good in isolation because we need them in complements, in combination. That's literally what it means. So we need here specific combinations of apples and bananas. And that's why the, ex the willingness to exchange is undefined. We have an undefined marginal rate of substitution because we don't, we don't want to basically trade off apples for bananas. We want to have a specific ratio that will make us happy. Hope this makes sense and we are done.